Hey everyone, it's me again. I lost my wife. Okay, never mind. She's right there. We are at the Green Hill Shopping Center, which is the Philippines' largest fake market. Now, I just want to say I've never been here. She's never been here. Looking forward to checking it out. Really want to compare it to MBK over in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, so we're looking forward to going shopping in here and seeing what they have. I feel a little funny saying, hey everyone, because we actually just made a video like two hours ago. We normally don't do this twice in one day, but we're in Makati and doing as much as we can while we're here. So let's do some shopping and see what's inside. Well, we're in Manila. I just don't know what part. It's more Northwestern than we're normally in by like the Mall of Asia area. So anyways, we're gonna go inside and see what we can find. So when I say fake market, I'm referring to the clothing and sneakers and purses that are supposed to be a thousand dollars and are actually only like 50. I don't believe they're selling replica Cinnabons. They look genuine. Looks good, honey. Yep. We're gonna grab some food before we do our shopping so we have plenty of energy. Oh uh, yeah. Alright, first item I'm looking for is a watch actually for my friend. Well, you know what? It's not for my friend. In case my friend's watching, it's for his wife. His wife, Rhoda, she makes the best pizza on all of Negros. Ask yeah, my wife. Rhoda. Yeah, it's amazing pizza. So I will go out of my way to get a watch for him because I want to make sure his wife likes me. This is the exact watch he wants, and I've talked to eight different people, and they're trying to sell me something very similar, but it doesn't quite work like that. So you know the model we're, we're looking for? Yeah, I know that. Okay. My friend is high maintenance. I hope he's watching this. He's, you're high maintenance, you know that? No, salamat. No, salamat. Location number 17. Right No, salamat, thank you. That's it, I'm flying to Bangkok. I know I can find one there. Very busy here, very busy. Every time I ask a question, they try to sell me five of the things. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is a t-shirt and clothing section. There's some more watches down there. I'm gonna go back. Oh, uh, my wife's favorite brand name. Yep, authentic. So we have a pretty pants here. Pretty pants. <laughs> I wish. How much are these? 350. Ah, it's a very good price. Blue lemon. It's like six dollars, seven dollars. Wish I could express how large this place actually is, because you can just walk forever. It is big. White? No, salamat. Maybe. No, salamat. Are you open laser? Yes. No, we just not allowed. Oh. When you don't have. This is my life. Right here, this is my life. Okay, well I don't know if I actually have enough footage for a video. Maybe I'll put together a four or five or six minute video, but I usually don't really like to do that. But that being said, the police actually took my camera from me. They shut it off, gave it back to me, told me I am not allowed to record in there at all. I'm guessing it's because 
most of the stuff in there is replica or, or fake. So that being said, yeah, not allowed to record in there. So they told me I could apply for a permit, which I don't know how that'll go, but either way. Anyways, I got a decent amount of footage. Hopefully I can put together a five minute video and show you guys roughly what we saw inside. My wife is now distracted by dogs, of course, but anyways, it was very interesting in there. Unlimited shoes, shirts, clothing, purses. It was all very, very cheap. Some of the quality felt good. Um, other quality did not feel very good, but obviously because of the, the price, that's reflective on you know the quality. So you really can't complain. You know when you go in there what you're getting for your money. 